to my channel i do hope you're doing well so we are kicking off the travel diaries with mama g you're probably thinking where is she she's just popped out so i thought i'll film the intro before she gets in here and then we can jump straight in it with the main lady herself so if you haven't seen the introduction my lovelies i want to do like a new little series called the travel diaries where i go through log cabins childhood holidays adult holidays all of that jazz and i thought it'd be quite funny to get mum's view on it as well um she traveled quite a bit in her younger days so i said to her today write down your childhood holidays and then we got the big box of photographs out and i said go through and find some from certain holidays of growing up when you was young before i came along and then i think i've just looked at a little um photograph selection and she's included some of like the childhood ones so you might see a few little sneak peeks to uh, my one next month because next month will be my video where i go through all of my childhood holidays what i remember so where we traveled because we kind of stuck around the same areas when i was a kid but when we go into the adult traveling shan she doesn't stay in the same areas and as i'm filming this i think what is the date today tuesday the 15th from the 18th all restrictions are dropped whether you're vaccinated unvaccinated you do not need testing to come back into the uk or quarantine so your girl is happy your girl wants to get out and travel i said to mum i was like easter weekend i want to go to amsterdam for the weekend mum was like not a chance you are not going to amsterdam on your own i was like why not why can't i go traveling on my own she was like shannon lee stay in the uk so yes but now everything is getting lifted fingers crossed we can start to get some abroad content or just like more travel content in general even if it's like little road trips for a little weekend away hotel away spa break anything like that your girl just wants to get out okay so i'm gonna stop rabbiting i hope you enjoy the video god knows how it's gonna end up because with mama g a lot of editing has to take place she kind of doesn't have a filter my lovely so yeah if this does make it up for thursday great because the internet is still codswallop at the moment so that's why i'm having to film it tuesday to try and get it done and uploaded wednesday so fingers crossed everything works and you will see the main lady herself in the next little segment so yeah get comfy my lovelies it's gonna be a long one ain't it <laughs> right so she is here, she is ready now, and she has her list, and we've just gone through and started to separate all of her photos. So mum just said, what is this? Is this a new series? So I said, it's just going to be a new little series once a month where I go through all the childhood travels. She's looking at her feed, clearly more interesting. So no, you, no, no. you might see her next month, because next month will be when I do all of the childhood travels, so where we went to like parts of Europe and bits and bobs like that. And then we'll move on to the more adult one, because as I said, now everything is being lifted. I might treat myself to a weekend in Amsterdam over Easter on my own. No, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> no, no. I told you should be like that. I'll come. Mum, you ain't got a passport. I'll get one. You treat me for one for mother station. <laughs> you want a passport? Yes. Your days of travelling are long gone, Mum. No, we right? can go together. Because when... <laughs> Shannon, when I'm not here, you'll think, oh, I wish I'd have gone there with Mama. What, Amsterdam? Right. Yes. Right. We can be laying there together. No, we will not be going. I wouldn't even go to Amsterdam to partake. I'd go there for like Moulin Rouge and that. Yeah, 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 and the tulips and the clogs. And to go on the little bikes yeah, along the canals. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. So we're going to rewind it all the way back to where there is no photographic evidence. What is your first memory of a holiday? I know she's done some writing uh, down there. I can do this, can't I? <laughs> uh, going to Laysdown when I was small. So how old do you think you were? Oh, uh, maybe... Well, it was all in the back of the Zephyr. Aunt Sylv was driving. Uh... Not babies or toddlers, uh, three, four, five, six. And where is Lays down? That's like uh, a UK place. Yeah, it's Kent. Oh, it's I've, down I've near Minster. I've never heard of Lays yeah. down. <laughs> we went to Lays down with Aunt Seal. She drove. Nanny Golda was in the front. Right. And all us children was all in the back because your viewers, if they're older like me, will remember a Zephyr car. The little arms, the indicator come out the side like that. And a big bench seat. 
So that was my first thing. So probably well overcrowded, too many kids for a car. No, if no, you got car, pulled over back no, in the Shannon, day. the car was massive as oh, ever. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my first recollection. Being in a big Zephyr car. Yeah, yeah, with all the uh, my cousins. And then what's this, 13 or 14? Yeah, that's when uh, I went to Spain with Aunt Doreen. I'm not sure whether there was anybody else. And then I come back and... <laughs> uh, and that's my first time that I went abroad. I was about 13, 12, So you 13. did actually go abroad to a teenager? No, it, I, I was about maybe... Well, as far as I can remember, 11, 12, 13, but I can't... And probably know? like in that... So if you was like 12, 13, that's like 1973, 74. Yeah, yeah. Was Spain like the place to go? Yes, yes, yes. Because I don't really think Spain is the place to go like for my generation. No, no, not now, no, no, no. <laughs> and that's quite old to be first going abroad, or was it because of money back in the day? No, no, that, that was the first I, time. Because my first holiday, I was four. But, yeah, I know. <laughs> but it, back in the days, we used to go to Laysdown or Sheerness or Minster, or, oh, no, and because Granddad Dennis's friend, Bert, who he worked with as the bus driver, he had a little chalet at uh, oh. Laysdown, and we used to go down there for a week at a so time like a with Nanny Doll. Oh, yes, no, not a Jew, isn't it? <laughs> if it's it's kind it. of a log cabin yes, in yes. a way, then. Yeah, a very ancient one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a little shed. Oh, God. Compared now, yeah. And then what's this? You had a day trip to France when you was at senior school. Yeah, I'm sure it was senior school. That You know, you go to France and look at the baguettes and everything like that. I never actually that. went to France with no, my school. No, I went there. We didn't have any of all trips. I think it's the senior, but I could be wrong because Mama G's mind's going a bit. And then... that's all. For, is that all your childhood ones that you remembered? Yes. So France, I remember there's like photos of me, I'm like two years old. I wouldn't say it was a holiday... But we used to go like a weekend trip, weren't it, on the ferry, just to go and get the fags, to be perfectly oh, honest. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it weren't really a holiday. We would just go over with Nan and Grandad because Grandad and Dada would want fags. And that was, I don't even think, did we ever get off the ferry? We didn't. I think we just no, used no, to go one side. We had to go down the steps, go on French soil and come back up again. That's all you had to do for a foot passenger. Yeah, I can't remember ever a going pound, like... Didn't it? Well, it's probably. I don't, do they even do ferries nowadays? Can you even still do that nowadays? Yeah, but I don't think you can get unlimited cigarettes like. Uh, <laughs> that was the only reason yeah. to go. Yeah. Like, I can't even remember getting off and going, like, sightseeing. Oh, or, no, no, no. It was literally but do go you get the booze and the fags and that's it. Granddad was on the bandit and you were standing there and you wandered off and you was very small. Oh, my Probably God. Probably exploring the... No, the air was blue because here was the thing to fall well, in the sea. You're out of the thing. The thing was there to fall into the sea. Oh, we was going mad. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? Man, you... You know. And then you come wandering down. He found you somewhere. We didn't smack you or nothing. We, ne <laughs> we never used to smack you. I just went exploring. Yeah, but See, you, I was exploring even from you a young felt, age. And, and Shannon, looking through these photos, all I've been chuckling to myself. That's what she's been tear, doing today. <laughs> uh, and, and your poses when you was little, small, having the bottle of beer, you know, in the bath. That's all like a sneak peek then of the childhood ones that yeah. are to come. But yeah, I can't, I can't remember that. See, I was exploring from a young age. I was just wandering off. Wanting to see the front. No, but it was very dangerous, Shannon. <laughs> Granddad let us go, the air was blue. <laughs> Nanny Gold, she couldn't say enough to him. So that is so comparing that to like my childhood travels, which as I say we're going to next month. So mum was 13, 14, but it's probably all to do with like the era, the decade, the money situation. Because my first holiday I was four. Yeah, Catalonia. Yeah, and I was quite lucky. I went four till 12 every year. So for eight years, we had a holiday constantly. Yeah. And then after that, my next holiday weren't till I was 18 or 19, I think. Yes. So we had like a break. And then I started going travelling on my own. Well, not on my own, but without mum and dada. I had freedom! And now that I can go and not have to test when I come back, oh, yeah, that's I nice. have freedom again. I want to go and do a back 
pack. No, 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 no. I want to go like for a three or a six month sabbatical. When you're older. When you're older. <laughs> I'm almost 30. It doesn't matter. When you're, I'm when, pushing the wrong when, side of my 20s but now. But you're not going to get married and have children so you can go when you're 40. Yeah, like, not. No, I don't, why would I want sword. to go travelling in my 40s? It's sus. We're, we're not going to be travelling that late in life. I want to get all my travelling done by like 30, 35. But I want to go for like three or six months sure, at a then, time. If I run a little bit, you'd be saying to me, Mum, we're going there, get your passport. You'd have no inkling. I'm sure there was a thing that once you hit a certain age, like 60 or 65, you weren't allowed to travel. <laughs> Shannon, you're wrong. <laughs> I'm sure I saw some of that. I know I'm old viewers, but I'm not that old. <laughs> I'm sure there was some no, of no, that you wrong. couldn't travel over a certain age. That's only if you're in ill health. No, I think it was when the C word come about, it was if you weren't vaccinated and over a certain age, you weren't allowed to travel. <laughs> yeah, but that's all stopped now. Yeah, but I don't know about the age thing. I say it's very what's going on. Nothing's set in stone, but I think that's the it's way that it's going. Yeah, but we still can't get in America at the moment. And they said in the paper, it all depends what the rules are where you're going to. Yeah, so obviously yeah. you have to check yes. where you're going, but coming into the UK is fine. Right. right, so let's get on and say we have a little... I told you should be digging out the photos. So... This is when I was slim viewers and good looking. <laughs> let's start with this. So this one is Turkey, you say? No, that's... They're all Grand Canaria. Right, they're Grand Canaria. <laughs> no, that's Turkey. That one's Turkey. That's Turkey. These are Grand Canaria. No, these are all what you've got in your hand. These are all Grand Canaria? Yes, because Kathleen's there. That's when I had my head <laughs> shaved. Yeah. Oh, great stuff. 1990... So these two are Turkey? That's right, because that these are 1990. That's before then. Right, so Grand Canaria right. is your first one. Yeah, yeah. So Grand Canaria, you said you went 1985, so you would have right. been 25. Yes, yes, because before I met her, I don't know. So, what was the purpose of this holiday? So, you're going to be seeing the photos now. It was, it was a family holiday. Me, Nan and Grandad, brother Steve, you know, and Kath. Yeah. Kath, his wife he was married to. Yeah. No, no, that's her sister. But uh, And then Sean and Kelly. And was this when you went to Marmaris? No, this is Gran Canaria. Oh, <laughs> Puerto Rico in Gran Canaria. Puerto that, Rico. Yes, that's when uh, I'd had my hair cut at the shop and then I had to say to have shave it off. And the man thought you'd come out of prison. Yeah, yeah. Cheeky <laughs> bin. A couple of these were a bit worse for wear, me and her sister. And oh. you'll notice with Mama G in all the old photos, she had like the classic gold Crayola hoops. Yes. Which you still had up until I was probably about... I'd say nine or ten you stopped wearing them. Yes, with the sovereign and the rings. And and mum was known, you're probably, if you're from mum's era, the big rag dolls and the clowns. I had a clown dinner. That is no longer here yeah. and I was you should have very said. gutted. It was only a small one, Shannon. They're coming back in fashion oh, now. Oh, are they? They won't be in for long. So I thought we'd get that. And then that is, you're in like a, um, what's I, that, like a dress suit? No, that, that's a... Uh, a coat dress that was in the fashion then. I had all the modern fashions because I was slim. See, that's, that's if me and Kath. you obviously haven't seen me abroad, but when I go abroad, I tan like <laughs> I will go out in the sun a couple of days, won't have anything, and then I wake up and I'll be like, goddess, I think I get my tanning from you. That, that's a lovely picture. I like that one. I can't remember. Dada ever getting like tan tan? Dad would burn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I must get the tan inside from you. Look at me there. What's that one? So oh, Puerto oh, Rico. Oh, oh yeah, that's my sovereigns. Oh yeah, look, they've gone that, now. That uh, sums up like all the jewelry, all the gold jewelry. That's gone now, viewers. <laughs> and did you only go to Gran Canaria once? No, we went with. Uh... Sean, uh, with Steve and them, after me, Nan and Grandad, we were, I went twice, and then Nanny Gold and Grandad Les went to, I think, Playa de Zingles on their own. I stayed in the house on my own. I wouldn't actually mind going Grand Canary. It actually looks quite nice. Well, they it's said it's good for the dunes. Is it dunes? Yeah, Mata Palomas on the camel. I wouldn't mind doing yeah. that, so that's on the thing. We could go, yeah. well, I don't know. I don't really go, when I go abroad, I don't 
stay in Europe. I think because we've done so much Europe when I was a kid, that's why I go like Caribbean. I like go yes. out and about. Yes. You, you, well, that's cheap, Shannon, to your Caribbean, isn't it? Well, yeah. no, because Gran Canaria, you can look, you can pay extortion amounts for places in Europe. So that's why when I compare prices, I think if I'm going to pay that for Europe and I can pay an extra £100 and get Caribbean, oh, yeah, get Caribbean that's why I go yeah. further afield yeah. because it's not cheap. And with everything with the prices going up, I dread to think what's it's, going to be so going up. Petrol is now. I know, it's ridiculous. It was 158 it's 163 now. I saw diesel coming in today at 179 and petrol 166 yeah, it's that's it's expensive. Probably... They reckon diesel's going to top three pound a litre and petrol's going to be two forty oh, by the end of the month. No. So, now this turkey, nineteen ninety, and this July. is marmorish. Oh say. no, this is what this, this is when I went with. Uh... Oh no, that that was right. This is when I went with Gary. You know, Steve's brother Gary, and Hildegard. Kind of. Yeah, and Michelle and Paul. So this yeah. is Turkey. This is Marmaris. That's right, yes. Marmaris, I wouldn't mind going to. I have actually found quite a few nice results in Turkey. There but are... it just puts me off because you hear bad stories in Turkey. That like when you walk down the streets, right, it's very right. pushy, pushy. Yeah. And you've got to have I, your wits I, about it. I bought you know? a leather skirt, a jacket. Gary bought... <laughs> she spoils everything. <laughs> it, Gary bought a pair of trousers for Hildegard. Jacket for the kids. Jacket for him. Spent it's a fortune. It's very like... Because it's kind of like shop, bar yeah. bartering, like yeah. Buy this, buy this from me, and they say as well, like for women, I say, don't take any offence. I've never been to Turkey, but they say for women, you have to be very conscientious of what's around you, yes, yes, because yes. they will try and get you in bars or like, oh, pretty lady, do well, do, but Gary, I don't get that. I must have a really offensive Gary tried place to on sell me for the jackets. So I said, no, 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 I want to go home. <laughs> So this was what. So how old was you here? Thirty. Thirty. Nineteen. Nine. Was you out here for your birthday then? If it was July. Uh, beginning of July, and, my, and I was thirty at the end. You still had quite short hair there. Sure, or is it because it's tied back? No, short hair. And what are you wearing, Mum? You got like harem pants. Yeah, on. I had harem pants and a polo shirt. That was in the fashion then, show. And no bra. Mother. No, I, I had a bikini bra I can on. I see a there. nip. No, I had a bikini bra on there, Shannon. Ew. And then what's this? You didn't go on a jet ski. Yes, I did with a thing. <laughs> but I didn't like it, viewers, because it kept coming up and all the salt in my face. I love a jet ski. I've only ever been on a jet ski once. And I'll talk about that when I get into my adult travels because, yeah, it was an experience to say the least. Let's move the camera this side a bit because clearly she can't keep leaning. You're still out of the... <laughs> it's my arm. I, I I'm, said to, I'm breaking down viewers I'm breaking down I said to her you need to cross your legs when you get off here she I was can't. like I can't I can't <laughs> so you had Turkey Grand Canaria did you have any? I had Grand Canaria first and then Turkey right and then did you have any other holidays after that before you met Dada or I come along no no, no so nothing. you weren't one to have like a holiday every year no because I just used to go to Stratford with Dad and Stay in North Hotels. Do you come so along? you'd prefer more to go, like, UK-based? No, because we was living in the caravan. Oh, yeah, that's a whole yeah. other thing. They used to live in the caravan because of work and all Don't that. knock it, viewers. It was good. <laughs> it was a good way of saving. I don't even think you can... Well, obviously, there's still sites and that now, isn't there? Yes, I, I would but live I in a caravan, if... Shannon, if we got evicted now. I'll I go, don't think I'll my go, stuff would I'll fit go in the down caravan. and see one of our relatives. <laughs> and then these ones, so this is like travelling. So you and Dad never went abroad together? No. Do you come here? Oh. See, I can't picture that now. I can't picture like not having an abroad holiday with someone. No, because she was small. No, but like if you was like in a relationship, I would think that you'd want to travel before. Oh, no, no, no. Down, it weren't not the thing though. back in the day. No, no, no. So these are kind of like a sneak peek into childhood, Shannon. So we used to go to Greece a lot. And, oh, my God, you've probably still got those shorts in a bag somewhere that you're, like, not willing it's a skirt, to get rid of. A skirt, then. You've probably still got that somewhere. That's gone. That's gone. I had to get rid of it. <laughs> and, like, and with the white polo dress, that had to go. So that is mum in the sea. With her skirt, with the infamous denim oh, stripes. It was cotton, I love that. Still with a gold chain yeah. and her hoops. 
Oh my god. But it, I said that I would love to go back to where we went when I was a kid to see what it's like because I think it's, it's changed, changed it? yeah. so much. Like, and obviously it's been developed and everything like that. So these are a sneak peek for childhood, Shan. I mean, that's a very zoomed in one. And as I say, you can very clearly see the gold hoops there. Probably a little bit worse for wear. Where was that then? This was Kefalonia, the first one. Oh, yes, but and my hair was really short there, wasn't it? So you do tan well. Mm. That's where I think I get my tanness from. And then, oh, my God, these are... So this now, was... that's a nice one. I look really... That was... You was definitely drunk there. Yeah, yeah. El, El Toro. He's had a few. Yeah. And I never, before people say, oh, my God, they was getting drunk, I was always there. I was never left in a hotel room or anything no, like that. No, 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 no. I was no. always there. They wouldn't really alternate who had a drink that night, but I was quite self-sufficient to look after myself. <laughs> no, but you was never left in a room with a mum or dad. Yeah, but I'm saying, yeah. like, I would be sitting there as mum and dad would be drinking, and but I'd be quite self-sufficient. I'd probably have a book or something. Yeah, yeah. I was that kid Got that would be reading book, or whatever. And then these are, like, two very... Oh, my God, I look so chubby there. Where? Look at my face there. And that god-awful fringe that you used to cut. That was never straight. No, no, Who that... else's mum used to cut their hair no, and it would never be a straight fringe? That That's long your fringe then. I didn't do it. And look, I've got like socks on with sandals. Oh, oh God. Oh. So, ah! What is going on with this fashion sense? Oh, my God. And you, you can tell it's... You won't say that, viewers, when you see what she used to have every winter. But you can even tell it's old because of like the decor. I still yeah. remember that sofa when yeah, you used yeah. to walk in. That was... Blue Horizon, I think. That's right, called. yeah, the yeah. first one. Kefalonia. And then, so this can't be, that's not the same year. This I, has got I to think, be a few years uh, That's the first year we went to Kefalonia because this was in a, a little small thing and the little frame broke with the rabbits on. That's the first one, isn't it? So I must have been four here. Yeah. And I think there you may be five or six. And then this that one, one was the yeah. one. So... I don't know if it was just pure laziness, but we kind of went to the same place for several years. No, because Dad liked to get the fags. Yeah, but it's like he didn't like to try a new place. If no, he found no. somewhere he liked, yeah. that would be where we would go for yeah. like two, three years on a time. But saying that, Tengaki we only went once. Cos. Cyprus we went once. Cos once. Tengaki was Cos, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, when we was in, in the restaurant. The it was store. only really Kefalonia. Is, and... is that where we went out and had the restaurant all within Flies Club? <coughs> That's Tingaki. Yeah, Cos. yeah, yeah. And we returned to Zakynthos a lot. Zanti. Zanti and Kefalonia. Yeah, yeah. But I think sounds. Kefalonia has completely changed. I think there's a lot more new resorts there. Because when we went, it was literally like two hotels on the island and a couple of restaurants. And, and they used to look after you. That was notch. it. That yeah. was it, basically, back in the day. So your main travels have been with me. Yes, yes. You kind of had more travels with me. Right, what's this? What's going on here? Yeah, uh, no, that was red, I think. Colour. So, yeah, why not slim there? Look, viewers. It's not even, it won't even focus on you. To that. <laughs> she did used to have one picture that is still on the fridge of when Slumbly. she was slimmer. And she said it was supposed to be like motivation to not open the fridge. I was going to die for this when I was 60. <laughs> I'm 62 now. I've not lost a pound. And Jackie the, said. And the picture's still on yeah, there. Yeah, Jackie said I look like a lot slimmer. I'll say, go and put your glasses on, Jackie. <laughs> oh, sl oh, God. oh, that's the tennis dress. That's it, yeah. That's, that one in the back. But all of this is coming back in fashion now. See, I, I could have kept them. Walmart. My job wouldn't have got in them, but... And I had, oh, my God, what is that on my T-shirt? Probably like a Rugrats. Right, don't laugh at my hair. This is, I don't know what stage I was going through with my hair on this. It's like the Bob stage. With, like, my Bratz T-shirt and my three-quarter white colots that I absolutely you used to you love. You my white have clots. a whole wardrobe, Shannon, every time we're not all day. And then what's this one? Oh, we used to love going and seeing the churches. The church, yeah. And them shoes you must have had for years upon years. They're like the classic what, the silver, silver mules. sandal. No, it's put your toe through. Oh, she's got her glasses there thinking she's a cool dude. Oh, there. 
That cut, that was when we come back from the walk, wasn't it, that time? I'm sure it was. Oh, she's KO'd. Unless, unless that's when I got the ear infection on the boat. Do you remember that in Kefalonia? I've got my arm burns out there. Like, even now, I look at that and I think, my God, even just the beds in the hotels have changed. <laughs> Everything's just changing. And then we move on. Is this Cos? We thought that this was Cos, weren't it? Or Cyprus, this is. Cyprus. This you had all the time as well, this outfit. Yes, yes, I love that. Look how pretty it like was on there. Suit? That's right, yes. And this is play suit. Is it knitted? Yeah, and with a zip up, shorts on the top. See again, again. fashion sense. <laughs> oh, there you go. You almost blend into like the mahogany of the furniture. <laughs> and then that's the same one. See, and also, this is the thing, like, if I'd have been born now, you'd have a lot more photos. But back in, well, back in when I was little, it was the disposable cameras. That's right, yeah, that's and why then... we've got so many pictures. <laughs> And they was expensive to develop. We used to come back off holiday and go down to like, was it Boots, Boots. or Tesco? Yeah, yeah. And just like put them all in. It used to be, I think, five or a film or something yeah, maybe. Yeah, we used to have ten, didn't we? And then it like upgraded to like the first camera or like the digital camcorder. And then obviously now like us, we have like our phones. Oh, oh that's with the Cypress one. That's where... Or one... Oh, no, that's where you jumped off the boat, weren't it? Careful, we used yeah. to do a lot like boat trips as well. And um, obviously, like now, we can take photos on our phone. I mean, mum can't because her phone is ancient still. But we have, like, cameras. We've got a lot more way of documenting stuff, whereas back when I was little, it was disposable cameras, and then you had the big old-fashioned camcorder and chunky camera. If no, it was not like that. There was a bad. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, you had, like, the really thick silver actual camera that, like, used to come out about ten times for a lens. Then, like, I've gone through my fair share of cameras, I had like a pink one that I would have had if mum had not broke it. I was the photographer at all the parties when I was growing up because I used to love photography And you so was much. just going out to a party, weren't you? And mum broke the camera. No, and because I she had a my, meltdown. What was it? My fingerprint smashed the screen, wasn't it? And I had a meltdown. Say it, don't spray it, mother. Sorry. <laughs> and I had an absolute meltdown. Did I have to go down and get one that night, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, I had to have oh. a camera. And I think it was a red one that I got. That's right, yeah. And red. I was gutted because I couldn't have a pink one. And I'm sure the brand was Vivitar. No, no, that was a little silver one that your father had. Vivitar rings a bell. I've always stuck really with, like, cannons. I don't know how I've done that. It's just too heavy-handed, Mother. And, like, back in the day, you used to have to, like, to upload it would take forever. And, like, you'd have to burn the photos to a disc. And, oh, my God. How times have changed now. We simply click the button and it's done. But we are going to start printing some of the pictures out. Once we start properly scrapbooking, we need to start getting all the pictures out. What is she doing? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Right. More scenery. So this is Tingaki. That's right, yes. So this is cost. So now she had the denim striped skirt. We've kind of gone for like a knitted dress. striped yeah. dress of it now. Yes. And where did you used to get your fashion from for your holidays? Uh, I remember like Matalang? Peacocks and Matalang. Peacocks? Tesco maybe? Adster? Adster. Trying to remember like where what even was fashion. Back do you, in the do you day. remember in Tingaki, you, you, they tucked you in or something, and my hoop fell right down at that, my ear. That was in Amaryllis. <sighs> oh, was it? And somebody that had to dive it. in to get it, wasn't it? Mum hates um, swimming as well, by the way, if you didn't know. She can only go where her feet touch. Yeah. If she can't feel her feet, she ain't What going about any when you was in them little apartments and I was swimming up to you and you was at the bar with Dad and I went down and I was. <laughs> I was trying to get to the side and I was swallowing the water and I'm going, eh, 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 and you're just standing there with drinking. Dad, and he's going, what? I'm going, eh, 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 and I had to try and make my way to the edge and there was nobody in the swimming pool. I just went under. I remember Dad pushing you down and you losing your hoop and me and Dad had to dive That's down That's right, to get yeah, it. yeah, my hoop, yeah. And you don't, you're not really a fan going in the sea like too far out, are you? I, I like to go. No, when no, uh, you don't, you, you know, Cavadora. Yeah, I go right out. I paddle because I like to see the little fish, but I don't go because one time I hit a rock and I stumbled and I went down, <laughs> and then I quickly got back up and come back in. 
<laughs> Whereas I love the sea. Yeah, you mustn't. Like I can just. I don't jump off boats though. The only time I jumped off a boat, you'll see my thing. Because when I was little, I got chucked into the sea, yeah, and I and think that scarred jump. me. Yeah. And I only overcome it a few years ago when we last went on holiday, and I jumped off the side of my oh, boat. Well done, well done. And the man was like, "You've never jumped off." I was like, "I was chucked in the sea when I was little." Yeah. And even if you have your life jacket, it's not the same. But yeah, yeah. it's only small, weren't you? Yeah, but Dada's a strong swimmer. Yeah. And I think that's where I get. I used to yeah. swim with him on my back as like training when yeah, I was little. Yeah, yeah. I always loved swimming. That's what we used to do on like Easter holidays. You used to go to like swimming club and but, that. But remember when you were small, you learnt to swim mm. and you was queuing up and there was Granddad Les, me, and Nan watching you and they're going, Right, Shannon, come man. Oh, right, you've got to jump in, put yourself right up and swim. You did that, and then you run round again, and the lady goes to him, no, Shannon, you've got to queue up again. I just like swimming. Yeah. And this is mum going down a kid's slide. I don't know where that was. <laughs> I think this was Zanti. All oh, right. And then we were trying to decide where these were, but we have... This is Cyprus. Cyprus. Because the inside, Oh, my yeah. God, look at, like, self-catering kitchen. We always used to go away self-catering as yeah. well, guys. Oh, she's got a drink there. Drink there. Got what we've posed in here. You had like a lot of white when we went away. Well, it's supposed to, supposed to make you look slimmer. I can't wear black. So, yeah. So, actually, your travels have been mainly when I've been here. Yeah, yeah. You didn't do much travelling when you were younger? No, no. Maybe like day and age and all of that. but Yeah. I had other commitments. I had to go to work. Ay, ay, ay. But my lovelies. That, that, that's the, the glass bottom boat. Have you told that in Cyprus? We've done that because I'll include that more in the oh, childhood. Oh, right, You're probably going to see mum next month as well when we go through like the childhood segments. Oh. We're not finished yet, mother. Oh, she's, right. she's already getting away. Oh, right, me <laughs> next month we will be doing the uh, childhood travel. So you'll probably, I'll probably bring you back for that one and we can discuss that a little bit more. But oh. I thought a bit of a short and sweet one just to kick it off. You've found out a little bit about of her travels and as i say there's plenty more to come for the childhood ones so if you did enjoy the video guys you know what to do hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below and leave me a comment anything you want to know or anything about mum's travels or what's coming up next month in the well, childhood I don't travels don't want you viewers saying to shannon you, you think i should lose a couple of pounds <laughs> no 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 <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, everyone put some weight. Hey, ho. Yeah. I need to get myself in shape to get in a bikini. That's all I need to, that's all I need to think about. I, I need to do the lottery then, Shannon, <laughs> and then you can have a uh, lip suction. Oh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, take care, guys. Stay safe, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.